Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about living hope. It's one of my favorite topics. There's a scripture in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You have to be careful in this life where you place your hope. There's a lot of things you can put your hope in that are false promises or people who will betray your trust. And uh, I'm kind of a not a person that's easy to uh, trust people, but I've learned one thing I can trust in God because he's given me a living hope and he's completely changed my life. Um, we can have a, that same living hope that the Bible just talked about because God has given us, because of his mercy and his love for us, the opportunity to be forgiven of our sin, to be born again to a new life, and to have a living hope. A living hope is not a dead hope. It's a kind of hope that we receive when we put our trust in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Going on in the book of 1 Peter in chapter uh, 1, verse 13, it says, Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. You know, I enjoy living. I enjoy people greatly. But I'm really looking forward to the day when I meet my risen Savior, Jesus Christ. He is my hope. He is a living hope because he's alive today. And... Uh, you just need to be careful who you put your trust in. Uh, have, has anyone ever broken a promise to you? Have you ever had somebody that said they were going to do something and then they forgot or they got busy and went off with someone else and forgot all about their promise to you? Well, that's happened to me too. But I want you to know you can put your faith in Jesus Christ and he is a sure hope. Now, the book of Romans chapter 12 Verse 2 speaks about something that's important. In order for you and I to live a new life or a changed life, we've got to change the way we think. It says that we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And uh, I'm kind of a hard head person. It's hard for me to change my mind about things. But when I have evidence and I have proof, I'm willing to admit that I need to change my mind. And so my mind has been changed by reading God's word. In this passage that I just read in verse 13, it tells me I need to prepare my mind for action. I like action. I don't like to just sit around. I kind of feel uh, guilty when I'm not doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm a pretty sober person. Being sober in spirit is what it says. It's kind of focused on the important things we need to be about. But it tells us the key, which is fixing my hope on the grace and the revelation of Jesus Christ. God's grace is uh, that he provided his son, Jesus Christ, for you and for me, and that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's a tremendous uh, offer that God made to you and me. And this message about living hope continues in verse 21. It says, Who through him, that's through Jesus, are believers in God, who raised him, that's Jesus, from the dead and gave him glory, so your faith and hope are in God. Now, I know that I've learned who I need to trust and who I can trust, and that's God. We are a believer if you put your faith and trust in him, in Jesus Christ, who was raised from the dead. And I can tell you today, trust him. He is our only source of hope, living hope, and true hope. If you want to know somebody you can trust, trust Jesus. He'll never let you down. God bless you.